uh, one of the first things that we're going to do, we're going to we're going to talk about our selection tools. Okay, so we've been using um, our our hand tool, which is to move this around. We've been using our zoom tool, which is right here, but we just haven't been touching it. We haven't been over here pressing Z and then clicking here and then you know doing this sort of thing. All I've been doing is pressing Command Plus, Command Minus, and Command Zero. So you don't even you don't ever have to touch your zoom tool. Okay. Um, you don't ever have to touch your your uh, your hand tool, all right. All you do is hold down the spacebar key and you can move it around, okay. So I've been using them, but I haven't been touching them, okay. But we're gonna start touching our tool. Ding! All right. So we are going to um, we're gonna start off with the the selection tool, okay. Now this is your lasso tool, and like I said, we don't have to touch it, but I just wanted to come show you it, okay. Here's our lasso. We're just gonna hit L to bring up our lasso tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that there's a feather on this. So here, this little feather thing is basically like when we did the uh, the paintbrushes. It's going to it's going to say how much how, how soft the edges are. So that's what feather means. Think of like a feather. They're soft. So I'm only going to do this eight pixels. Actually, I'm going to do it ten pixels. Okay. So we're going to go uh, ten pixels for our feather. Anti-aliasing. Just leave that as it is. I'm going to make a very rough selection around her here, and we're just going to we're going to select her face. So we're going to try and get close to the edges. We don't have to get perfect, but we don't want to go too far into her hair, okay? Now, once we've made the selection, uh, if I this is my selection tool. It's on. It's on lasso. If I bring it out here and make another selection, that one will disappear, which is like, hey, I just wanted to add something to it. If you want to add something to it, if you actually look at this, there's this little triangle right here in the corner of this image, okay? And that means that there's more to this tool. And if you just hold down and look, there's, there's more tools here, okay? So there's the lasso, the magnetic lasso, and so on okay so we have our lasso tool now what we're gonna do is right here these little boxes here this is our selection tool that means if we make a selection it's gonna make one selection this here means that if we if this is gonna add to that selection so if I make another selection it'll add to it if I make one over here there'll be two you know they're, they're gonna be all over the place this is to subtract alright and then this one here is intersecting so if I make a selection around this and this it's gonna select the, the place where they both intersect right there. So these other ones went away because they weren't intersecting with this. If I go ahead and make another one there, you'll see it's like that. Now we don't ever have to touch these either. Your keyboard has modifier keys, which are shift, alt, and command, and sometimes control. And used in combination, you know, control shift or alt shift, they can change from one tool to the other kinds of tools that it is. So we're gonna go um, command deselect, and I'm gonna reselect her face, and now it's selected. Now if I wanna go into here and, and add this part of her forehead, I just hold shift and you see up here when I hold shift that little add thing comes on and even right here uh, the little lasso tool you'll see comes up lasso with a plus next to it, it means you're going to add with it. So these are big time, time savers okay. Uh, if I hit alt and select it brings up the intersect which is that x you can see it right there and then there's an x right there if I just hit alt it's to take away. So if I want to take away part of the selection let's say I don't want her eye selected which I do not. I'll click right there, okay? I, I do want this cheek selected. Now I can go through and select like this all day, and it's going to take me all day to come in here and, and, and minus her eye and, and, and try and minus around her eyebrow because I, you'll see in a second what I'm doing. But, you know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to take all day, okay? What I want to do is use a quick selection tool, which is all you got to do is hit Q. Bam! It brings you into the Ruby Lith, okay? Now, we're going uh, to zoom in so that we can get a better idea of what we're doing here. We're going to hold down the uh, space bar key to move right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my brush out. I'm just going to make a selection by painting the selection. So we've still got our black and white which comes up as the ruby lith color. We have a soft edge on our brush which is great because it's going to give us a soft edge on our selection. And I'm just going to paint where I want to be deselected. Now the pink is going to be deselected. The, the clear, you know, what's not pink is going to be what is selected. So I'm going to I'm going to get her lips and I'm going to this little part under the nose right here. I still I want this detail. You you'll see what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, soften up the picture, but I don't want to soften up these details under her nose here or else her nose isn't going to look like it exists. I want to keep these little sharp lines that are here and here. Um, and then if I mess up like I did right there, I just hit X and I repaint over that with white, which is actually painting over it with um, nothing so I'm clearing it up and just clearing it out of the way so I hit X again and it brings me back to my paint and I'm doing this here so here's my selection I can clean up right here on her chin keep more of her chin there looks great alright and then now that I have this going now when I hit Q again it's a selection awesome yeah I love this 
So we're gonna go Command O and you can see her face is selected. We're gonna soften up the skin on her face. Now that I have this selected, I'm gonna come up here to Filter. So this is our Filter menu. And we're gonna go over here and there's not a lot of keyboard shortcuts for this. So Filter, you're gonna go Filter, Blur, Gaussian, Blur, okay? Now this Blur is cool because you can, you can adjust your blurriness. We're gonna zoom in so we can see that behind it. And right here, this little radius thing is, is what we're gonna blur. Now you see, we're gonna blur a whole lot and you're gonna see it's gonna look like hell. Uh, I'm trying to back out here. So I hit Command and, and if we look at this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide our selection. So our selection, these little, uh, they're called marching ants is what people call them or your selection lines. Uh, these little marching ants, they're saying what's being selected, but I don't wanna see them, they're a little distracting. So I just hit Command H to hide them. Now as I raise this up, only the selected area is being blurred. Okay, so now that only the selected area is being blurred, we're gonna, we're gonna blur it out beyond where we think it's gonna be needed to be blurry. So here we go right here, there's very little detail in her skin, and that's at 19.3, okay? We're gonna hit okay. Okay, now that she's all blurred out, this is where the real power of the history uh, palette comes into play, okay? What I'm gonna do is go over here and to my eraser tool, which we haven't used yet, and I'm gonna make sure, right now it's on uh, the magic eraser, but I don't want that. It's also got a little triangle, so it means there's more it's the eraser tool. Now if I wanted to, I could have just pressed E and it would take me to the eraser tool, but it would have took me to the wrong one. It would have took me to the magic eraser tool. Now if you hit shift E, it'll cycle through all the different kinds of tools that you have, or shift whatever letter the tool is, and you'll cycle through. So if I wanted to see my different lasso tools, I can go lasso, poly polygonal, magnetic, you know? So E, same thing, E, 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 and I'll get through and I'll find my eraser, okay? Now, I don't want to just erase this. If I erase it, there's nothing left, and you can see, my selection's still on, so I'll only erase what's in my selection. So even though it's, it's hidden, it's still active. So even though we can't see it, so that can become a problem too. Sometimes you won't know why things aren't working and you're like, why, why, why? But you just have a hidden selection. So you're gonna go Command H. I'm gonna deselect just so we don't have that problem. We're gonna go Command D to deselect, okay? So that's a little troubleshooting right there for you. So you're gonna come across that problem for sure. What we're gonna do with this brush here is we're gonna set our opacity to we're gonna say uh, 45, okay? Now this is how effective the brush is gonna be. That's what our opacity means here. So it'll only, if I were to just erase it the way it is, it's erasing 45% of it so you can see through it 45%. We're gonna go Command Z to take that away. But what I'm gonna do is over here in my history palette, this little thing right here, it's a, it's a paintbrush with a looping arrow. It's telling you that you're gonna paint back in time. So this is the history, this is the history state. This is what it's gonna build upon, is from right here. So it's gonna take you back to this place in time, which is when we first opened it. Now if I hit Alt, it's gonna, my eraser now becomes my history eraser. And nothing tells you that it does that. Okay, there's nothing on the screen that says, okay, you're in the history eraser mode. You just gotta know that holding down Alt takes you to the history eraser mode, okay? And then when you click it, her skin starts coming back. So it starts coming back and we brought it back 45%. So now what I'm gonna do is go over to the edges because you can still see a little bit of an edge and I'm just gonna hit it with this soft brush and bring in some detail on the edges of her hair. And see, we didn't, we didn't mess up any of her, uh, her eyes, her eyelashes, her, uh, none of her eyebrows or anything because we had, we had masked them out. So it only, we only blurred her skin. We didn't get her lips, we didn't get her teeth. We only blurred her skin and now we're bringing back her skin just a little bit. So we can, if you hit enter, it'll take you into that dialog box up here. You see that? Now we're highlighted up here. And we can use our arrow key to bring that down a little. So if we use arrow keys, we can go one at a time, down, 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 and we can get down to, let's say 25%, and then we're gonna go over it again. So we're gonna go over it again. We're gonna bring, we're gonna click over here so that we're, we're getting out of that. And then we're gonna use our bracket key, son of a gun. We're gonna use our bracket key to um, raise the size of our eraser brush. So here we go. And then we're going to hit alt. And we're going to re-go over and we're bringing back a little bit of detail here. Just a little bit of detail. So I'm going to go command Z and you can see that just a little bit of detail went away. Now if we want to see what it looked like before we did all this. So here's where we started from. We're, we're going we're gonna to see our start point from the very beginning. And here's where we are now. Okay. We've, we've done quite a bit. We're going to back up. All right, so her skin's looking a little softer, but although she is gorgeous and although she is near perfect, you can see that she's got a little bit, sorry, Megan, she's got a little bit of, uh, you know, acne here and, and just different, different little skin blemishes here and there, maybe a little bit of wrinkles under the eyes. 
and little things like that. And we have the perfect solution for that.